Hello makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen and I'm 43 years old and I live here in sunny Derbyshire at the moment and I've recently developed a love and a bit of an obsession really for all things makeup and skincare and I'm also very very new to YouTube as you can probably guess <laughs> and I'm just using YouTube as my way of um, sharing my journey with some like-minded people and um, hopefully people get a little bit out of it i know i'm i am i'm really enjoying doing these videos it's done wonders for my self-confidence and i just really love doing them so i'm hoping to continue and i'll try and upload at least once a week if possible and it's mainly on the mondays that i will be doing that um but obviously if work takes precedence so if i'm missing for a week don't worry i will be back the following week okay so as you know in the past i've reviewed one of my absolute favorite makeup artists is bailey sarian my other favorite makeup artist is a young lady called sydney nicole and uh, she's the ultimate goth chick for me she's absolutely gorgeous and she does incredible incredible makeup and special effects uh, when it comes to Halloween season she's doing all the outfits and the body painting she looks like Freddy Krueger one day then the following day she'll do the Corpse Bride absolutely amazing work and she also does some work with her best friend called Bailey Madison and she's absolutely unreal as well and together uh, it's a match made in heaven they really are amazing and so I actually have both of those palettes so I've got Sydney's this is the one that I'm going to be reviewing today and next week I'm going to review Bailey's so there you go so I'll sh show you both of them um, so yeah Sydney Nicole she's absolutely amazing if you're into a bit more goth glam makeup I highly recommend her she is wow amazing her winged eyeliner are to die for. <laughs> yes, they are. They're absolutely out of this world. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, she's done this collaboration with Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. And they are an amazing uh, cosmetic brand as well. Um, they actually do the uh, adhesive eyeliners that I use. And they do the black and the clear one. And it's the only way I can actually put eyelashes on. Uh, again, I'm, I'm still new to putting eyelashes on my eyes. So if they look crooked, that's because they probably are. <laughs> but practice makes perfect, doesn't it? And the only way to do it is to keep on practicing. Um, so yeah, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> so yeah, so this is Sydney's palette. It comes in a lovely sleeve. I'll show, give you... There you go. And I think she actually posed for that as well. So I'll just open it up. There we go. And that is the actual palette. Again, it's all it's like gothic book glamoween because that's what she does when it's um, Halloween season. She tries to do a look a week, uh, sorry, a look a day for Halloween, and it's called glamoween. So yeah, it says on the back, Spoiled Lips Cosmetics and Sydney Nicole. There you go. And I'm just checking on the box here. Uh, it does say that it's cruelty free and vegan. I don't know if you can actually see that on there, but yeah, so that's good to know as well. So, right, let's get straight to it. So, I'll just give you a look. There is a mirror on this side, so I'll just put my hand over there so I don't blind you. So, there are 12 shades. These two are the same. They are both called Lucky 13. I do believe there was a problem with one of the palettes or something and that's why they've ended up with, I think it's the de design of the palette, some, something or other like that. Um, Sydney does go into it in, on her YouTube channel. Um, so that is why you've got two of the same, but they make for a great highlight. Um, they, look, they look like white, but they've got, I don't know if I can pick it up on the camera for you, there is a slight shimmer there, so it is like a highlight colour. And today I have used both of the purples and the pink right at the very top of my eye. I've used that just for a little bit of shimmer just on the pink and that white one there right in the corner. And for my lips, I've actually used a Spoilt Lips Cosmetics Lippy. And I'm gone. Let me just see. Oh, and it's called Magic. Whoa, there you go. It's called Magic. So I thought I had to complete the look. And it's the only one I've actually got of theirs. So 
beautiful i love it so I'm, i think i might have to invest in some more of those okay right so i'll get on to doing a swatch so i picked the perfect swatch for the perfect lady of all things goth and magical and weird and wonderful skeletons <laughs> so i'm going to do what i usually do i'll prime my arm with the i forgot what it's called Too Faced shadow insurance there you go so i'll just quickly do that again i use this because i'm like well I'm going to be pop popping it on my eyes. I want to see what it looks like with my eye base on. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the ice cream van. Yeah, playing the sun has got his hat on. <laughs> I told you it's sunny. So there we go. So that's my arm all primed. So let's try and break into this. I still haven't got any nails. <laughs> oh, crikey. This is my only complaint, oh sorry, it's from Swatch Perfect, this, this swatch. My only complaint is that they don't leave a little tab, you know, for <laughs> fingernail problematic people like me uh, who don't have much fingernails, it's a bit bit tricky. <laughs> so yeah, just please do a little tab. Oh my God, and this is quite an intricate one to do. Please bear with me. <laughs> Try not to rip Skeletor's face off. Oh, I should have wore that t-shirt today, shouldn't I? I actually, I actually own a He-Man t-shirt with Skeletor on, but I think that would have gone quite good with it today. And I'm sorry to disappoint my Star Wars fans. I actually haven't got a Star Wars one on today. I'm wearing my Pink Floyd. I'm a big Pink Floyd fan. There we go, I'm getting there. Oh my goodness. Come on, Skeletor. I think in future I might have to prep these. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video and then I'll be right back because this is boring for you watching me trying to struggle with a swatch. I'll be right back. I'm back. Done it. Oh my God. That took forever. I'm so glad I paused it. I'm so glad you'd have switched off because that took forever. Uh, I managed it without too many casualties. It's just that one there. It's just a little bit creased. But I think I managed to save it. <laughs> so, right. So, I'm going to go through like I usually do. Um, obviously, they're the colours. I'll start at the top one, the yellow one, and call out its name as I do. Just So, I'm going to stand up to do that. Just to make life a little bit easier. And I haven't got a brush. Let me just grab one quickly. There we go, things like brushes do help when you're doing a swatch, I've found. So, the first one is on the top row and it's called Candy Corn. So, I'm going to just pat that down again, go for this bad boy here. And again, like I've done in the past, I will give them two generous coats. That's one. And that you do get quite a bit of fallout. So when you do use this palette, please bear that in mind and um, do your eyes first before you do your face makeup. So the next one after that is called Pumpkin. Oh my God, that, <laughs> that's nearly the same colour as the swatch. Wow. <laughs> I haven't used that one yet, so I'm a bit surprised at it. So the second one. Yeah, just excuse me, just get rid of the excess. Now this one is called Ghosts, that, that, that's the, obviously, Ghost, it's the white one um, that is in the corner of my eye. Uh, I'm going to pop it on this bad boy here, this is the one that I kind of missed up on, uh, messed up on rather, but with, with it being just a plain white, I'm, you know, I'd, I'd rather use an ordinary colour if you know what I mean for that. So that's the top row finished so next we have trick or treat and that's that beautiful pink that i've got on the upper part of my eyes there we go that's beautiful that. another coat 
And these are also absolutely amazing when you wet them. Obviously, I'm just doing them dry just so you can see like the baseline. Uh, the next one is called Vampire. Let's do that swatch down. Oh, I've missed one there. There we go. Okay. An uh, awful lot of fallout again, so just uh, bear that in mind when you are doing uh, your makeup. Um, so I'm going to fill this one in with a green one called a Zombie. Oh, that's lovely. That's more like, reminds me of uh, Mushy Peas. There we go. And another coat. There is my, there we go. Right, so on to the next row and we have this beautiful purple. It's a light purple that I've used on, on my eyelids and this one's called Ghoulish. Get that in there. There we go. And another one. Beautiful. And the next one along in the line is one called Autumn. It's a lovely brown colour there. Again, they're all like your Halloween colours, which goes along the theme of Glamoween. <laughs> and the next one after that is a grey called Mummy. Just excuse me. <sighs> Just blow the excess off. Uh, so yeah, grey called Mummy. Stick that down a little bit more. Choose another one. That's that one, just stick that. Uh, so yeah, and we are now on the next to the last. It's Haunted House. And this is that deep purple that I put on the outer parts of my eyes. Starting to pack because that swatch is quite delicate. There we go. That's the first one. That's my dogs in the background barking. And so this next one is called Werewolf. This is a dark brown. There we go. Can't, I think he only did one, didn't I? Yeah, I'll just do <laughs> Can't remember. And the last of the colours is Cobweb. A perfect matte black. Just absolutely... Perfect. That's with one and last one. And the very last one is Lucky 13, and it's that that comes in the two sides. Uh, like I say, you can use it as like a highlighter. I'm just really getting rid of. In fact, I'm going to use my finger because I've just used black. Excuse fingers. I'm hoping it will show up there. I've got a little bit of every colour on that bit there. It's more like a beautiful silvery colour. There we go. So that's it. I'll just uh, blow it again. I'll just tidy up. I'm hoping it, it turns out okay, you know, with the... Uh, it being a bit of a disaster trying to stick it down, <laughs> well, unpeel it and stick it. Um, I have learnt from that, so in future when it's an intricate one, I am going to uh, put it on my arm beforehand. Right, <laughs> let's see if it's easier to take off than what it was to apply. Here we go. At least it doesn't matter if I rip it. Ooh. Hey, not bad. Oh man, he's got sunglasses on that one. <laughs> hey, it's looking good. Uh, yeah. That's the that awkward one there. Oh, it has turned out okay, that one. I didn't think it would turn out. There we go. That's all of them.
that one I, I'm just gonna have to just do a, a, a swatch just on my arm somewhere let me just show you here because it's got every single color I don't know if you can see that and that that is the lucky 13 it's a beautiful beautiful like a highlight type color it's <laughs> very difficult to see you know because while I'm filming it I can't it just looks like my arm <laughs> I hope it is showing up on camera it is absolutely beautiful that that isn't a true reading of it because it's got lots of fallout on it so yeah it's a beautiful beautiful highlight color but yeah they're absolutely amazing I am pleased with how that swatch turned out I was very dubious <laughs> as you can imagine but yeah that looks lovely I mean the purples that that and that they just drew me straight away to the palette and to have a true matte black as well uh, it's, it's just you know it's perfect perfect palette uh, I mean what I've used in the past was the black and the green and the deep purple um, I was going to do another green and purple look today but I thought well no I've got my hair green so that's the green bit already done um, but it's an amazing, amazing palette done by an amazing young woman. She's so talented. Absolutely amazing. And I think I've said that word about 50 times, but it's true. <laughs> so yeah, please check out her channel, Sydney Nicole on YouTube. And same again, Sydney Nicole on Instagram. I think she's got, you know, the TikToks and things like that. I don't do TikTok. Uh, but yeah, she's absolutely amazing. And like I say, her best friend, Bailey, uh, Bailey Madison, she does the same things as well. And I will be doing her palette next week because the best friends, I've got to view both of the palettes the same. Um, so yeah, so if you like what you see here, and I absolutely love it, it's absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing, then yeah, go out and buy it. I th think, they're, I'm trying to think how much they were, I think they're only about... Uh, at 20, 24 pounds something like that I think um, of course this you know when it was it was in dollars because you have to send off from America um, but I find Spoilt Lips Cosmetics I love their brand so much uh, I bought their eyeliner their crybaby eyeliner you just cannot get it off it is so so good <laughs> it's amazing it stays on all day um, and I've actually joined their bi-monthly palette club. So every other month I get a palette. And this last month one was the Edgar Allan Poe one, the Nevermore palette. And that was amazing as well. So thanks to this young lady, I have actually found another indie brand that I absolutely love and I want to support. So that's it for me so yeah if you do like my videos please like and subscribe it will mean the world to me uh, like I say I'm just starting out I'm very very new very new to makeup and to YouTube itself and I'm using this as you know just a, a learning opportunity for myself uh, like today <laughs> the lesson of today is if something's intricate in, I can't even say it intricate yes I said it right then on a swatch do it beforehand. <laughs> In fact, I've got a little bit stuck to me. <laughs> there we go. That's it. So hopefully I'll see you next week. Like I say, I'll be reviewing Bailey Madison's um, uh, palette. That's from Alien Cosmetics, that one. And I hope you stay well and please keep your loved ones safe. And yeah, like I said, see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye.